Hi there, Tam here from Perfect Supplements Australia. If you're looking for more happiness and vitality, you're in the right place. Today I'm going to be sharing with you another one of my homemade facial recipes. It's my gentle chickpea exfoliating scrub. I hope you enjoy. So as you can see, this face scrub only contains six ingredients. Often these are ingredients that we already have in our pantry, especially honey, raw honey and almond meal. Um, but yeah, this recipe also calls for chickpea flour, almond oil, sweet almond oil, zeolite powder, raw honey and rose water. So let me just give you a brief explanation as to why I am using these ingredients and why they're so great for your skin. So almond meal is beautiful because it makes a really gentle exfoliator. Chickpea is also a really good exfoliator, chickpea flour that is. And it's loaded with zinc and zinc is amazing for helping to prevent and treat acne. Sweet almond oil is really moisturising for your skin. And zeolite, what it does is it actually absorbs and neutralises heavy metals. So that's a really good one as well. Raw honey is antibacterial and super hydrating. So it's great for nourishing dry skin. And rose water is really great because it helps to reduce redness and inflammation and also to balance out the pH of your skin. Over here in a bowl, I've already got the almond meal and the chickpea flour. That's one tablespoon of each. And then in this bowl, I've got one tablespoon of raw honey, one tablespoon of the sweet almond oil, and then I'm going to add in the zeolite powder last, just to scoop. It's really important not to ever use metal when you're working with zeolite or any of those kind of chelators, because what it can do is, it, if you use metal, it will actually absorb the metal don't want that going into your skin. So right at the end I'm going to put that in and then I'm going to give it a stir with this plastic uh, spatula. And I'm also going to add a teaspoon of rose water. That's the consistency with the first three ingredients, actually four ingredients, sorry. Now I'm going to add in zeolite powder and I may possibly need to add a little bit of water. <laughs> I only needed to add the tiniest bit of water, but I'm really happy with that consistency now. So now I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to apply it to my face. And then I'm going to wash it off and come back downstairs and show you the results. When you're applying this face scrub, it's a good idea to pop on a little headband just so you don't get any of it. Using this plastic spatula to apply it, it's also a really good idea. Seems like get all in the hands. It's a little bit sticky, but you know what? I am gonna have to use my hands anyway. Because this is a scrub, not a mask. exfoliating my skin now just in circular motions. Kept it away from my delicate eye area. And I'll probably just rinse it off in the shower. It's gonna be pretty messy. So I've washed that off now and I use my little face flannel. You could also use a face wash off if you don't have one of these. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to tone and then moisturize my skin. I'm back after having a shower and washing off the face mask. I've also toned and moisturized my skin. And for the purpose of this video, I don't have any makeup on, no BB cream, no nothing. Only just moisturizer and lip gloss. So I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see what my skin looks like after the scrub. So it's looking really clear. It's definitely glowing. It's looking more radiant after exfoliating away all those dead skin cells. So yeah, I'll definitely be making this one again. It's so simple to make. 
and I'll leave the full recipe in the description below. Also, I'll leave the link to my last um, video, which was a skin brightening mask for pigmentation, acne, and anti-aging. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos, and remember to tap the bell for, for notifications so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching.